Hello YouTubers, Shalom Alokhun. Today I want to show you uh, my experimental hydroponics which I've done and what I've achieved. First of all, I'm going to show you the whole setup and uh, then I show you the actual working so you might also copy it. It has been quite successful. I'm quite happy with the results. So um, this is how it is. These are mainly um, cause um, lettuce and I've got some flowers and also some spring onions. Um, the um, nutrient I'm using is a commercial one that's available and seems to be working quite well. Now let me show you as how the whole thing works. Starting with the frame, I've made uh, three A frames as you can see and uh, they're supported uh, throughout and holds the pipe. The pipes are 100 millimeters in diameter. They're simply PVC pipes and I made some holes in it and I then put a cups and in the cups I put uh, uh, small pebbles so they can support the plants. The tank itself, if you can see it, is right under here and it's black plastic. It was um, selected black because it's UV stabilized so it doesn't uh, deteriorate in the sun and the other thing is that it doesn't let the light to go in so therefore there's no chance that algae and some other farm materials may grow inside. Let's just have a look at inside how it operates. I'm bringing the camera closer. Taking off the uh, lead. As you can see the uh, pump pump is operating, the water is coming down, circulating with the nutrient and I've got an inlet valve, floating inlet valve, which when the water level drops down, it automatically fills up the tank again. So there's no need for me to top it up. Okay, now going back to it again. Now there are lots of, lots of flowers which are growing quite well all the way through. And these flowers are um, uh, commercially available. I brought them as a seed, then I grew them, then I put them inside the hydroponic itself. Okay, now the water comes in right from the uh, tank itself and it fits the pipework. The pipe work goes all the way to the top in there and drops in. Now, um, as it goes in throughout the pipe work, it will reach the cups. And I've cut cups. I'll show you what I've done. I've made some uh, holes in the drinking plastic cups by simply inserting a hot soldering iron and melting the holes. I've got some holes also underneath. Okay, now the water is always coming from the top, going all the way on inside the pipe. The water keeps on flowing underneath, all the way, keeps on going. Here it comes, right to the end. At this point, where the water comes drops down to the next stage, what I've done, I've deliberately put it a bit on the top. There's a purpose in that. And also, as it drops down, it also goes right from a, a bit of top entry before it drops into the tank. Now, purpose, the purpose of this is to ensure if in case there's a power failure, or when the um, pump doesn't work, at least there'll always be water present in the pipe so the plant, they don't die away. So um, sometimes we do get some power out, power failure. So that's protection against that failure itself. Now the uh, cost letters are doing extremely well. As you can see, they've been here for almost six to seven weeks and they're growing handsomely. And sooner or later we, we have to remove them 
and then use them. And now the A-frames, you can see there's one there, one in the middle, that supports the weight of the plants on the water, and the last one is right at the end. I hope that uh, you will take some benefit out of this video and uh, let me know as how you're doing with me I'm extremely happy with it it's been quite a successful venture and next time I'll probably do some other project meanwhile I'll just put the cover back on the tank like so and uh, hopefully everything will be fine again thank you for watching this video and you can place your comment to me or email me i'll be happy to respond to your questions see you youtubers